know where my there it is <laughs> where my controller went to. But okay, so um, for those of you guys who might have missed yesterday's episode, um, we just got out of the first village in Mortal Kombat Conquest for Mortal Kombat Deception. We're about to go train with Master Baraicho. Um, I'm hoping by the end of this video or next video we can be out of Earthrealm and uh, making our way to, um, I think the first place you go is Netherrealm, so uh, we'll see. Master Baraicho's house lies to the northeast. So, so I should so head in that direction. Nothing's that way. So we got Baraicho's house is here, then the dock is over there. Which I don't, I don't think that's right. Okay, so Master Baraicho, they send you here, but they put the dock right there. But the dock is actually. I'm gonna be a little nerd here. See, there's that. The dock is actually right around here. That's where the dock is. So I think they point you in the wrong direction. It looks like the signpost is in the wrong spot. Because the signpost makes complete sense for the second fork you come to. It doesn't make sense for that first fork. <laughs> you know, you know, I, that could be very right. I mean, yeah, because if you saw the direction I went to go to the dock, and it's pointing me like this, Baraitra's house is in the right direction. That's Baraitra's house. Got Shao Kahn's alternate costume. Fuck Shark on, man. He doesn't need an alternate costume. Asshole. Yeah. That big giant green light in the sky. Um, by this point, I kind of. I mean, I've played this game a lot, so I know my way around all the different realms pretty well. Um, but that big green light in the sky, at least, as, serves as an awesome marker. And once you've beaten the game, and you can still go back to, um, where are we? We can go back, you can still go back to whichever realm. Instead of marking your next location, because you won't have one, um, it just marks where the portal is. And that's, that's even more useful. Just like, oh, I go here, and that's where the portal is. So let's see if I can train with Master Raichu. Let's see how fast I can do all Master Raichu's combos. See you again. From the As promised, I will now impart to you my most powerful techniques. I am honored. I will impart to you my most powerful techniques. Promising students here at my home, away from Jesus I'm not as thinking as you drunk I am, so you go. <laughs> It looks a little bit lighter in that right there. Must have been earlier years, you know, before I put on all the extra weight. <laughs> no, they're not totally spoiling the story with that load screen. Never, never. No, no, that's not a dead giveaway of what's happened. Mock everyone's powers, and their idea of mocking everybody's powers is that you have to beat them to do it. Yeah, it was just kind of a clever way, I guess, or maybe not so clever way of of doing a tutorial because essentially what Conquest was in Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance was just this: was that you highlight the character, and then you essentially go through this with every single character. Um, and then once you got through that whole thing, um, you have Conquest beaten. Um, and they, they had like a little story written out that you could read in between like each mission. Like like what I'm doing here, each one of these would be like one little mission. Like where it says well done, that'd be one mission. And so you get to learn the character, you get to learn your character's uh, story and you learn it in a really deep way because they'd like go into like when stuff happened. Uh, it became really interesting. Like they go into the real nitty, -pick, nitty gritty like, you know, he did this with this guy, and da, 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 you know. Um, am I making any sense at all? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know if I was. It's jumbled, but it's sensical. It's, it's sensical jumbling. Now, Drunken Fist is by far my favorite way to fight with Boraicho. He's so slow in movement, but his combos are so fast with such high damage. Um, sure. 
power saver not doing anything bad there. The money kick. Was that called the money kick or was it, it was, the monkey kick? It might have been monkey, but I read it as money and that's better. Yeah, they should call it the, the money kick. You had a cheap shot at one point in time. <laughs> I remember the first thing my brother said when he saw Go Right Show. Crushing brakes. Oh. You get it? Because he's drunk. I get it. Oh. My favorite one. Boom. So nice. So nice. Those of you who might not have caught on, basically the tutorial, the way this tutorial is working is that it's teaching you every single one of uh, the normal moves, then the directional moves, and then it will finish you off by learning the combos of that particular style that you're in. And that way essentially you kind of get a taste for everything. And, you, and over time, since you essentially will do this with just about every character in the game, you'll learn the timing for combos, and then it will make the whole game a lot easier to play. Crusty Branch? Yeah, you know, I'm not gonna question, but right, Joe, if you want to name his move Crusty Branch, alright, he can do that. Check in what time we got. Then one of these, when we get to like 14 minutes, mm -hmm. to like stop and say, I'll see you tomorrow, <laughs> which I haven't done for the past two days, but. Uh, But I'd like to. Right. It'd be nice if I could just say see you tomorrow. But Oh god, how did I fail that? That was unacceptable. Like some of the combos in this are very hard, but that one was just not one of them. But essentially what you're doing is you're inputting the actual um, whatever they tell me to do on top of the screen, I just kind of press that button combination. I imagine it's probably kind of redundant for people who have uh, either already played the game or are used to fighting games. But I think Conquest is a really nice way, like, if you've never played Mortal Kombat or you've never played a fighting game in general, running through Conquest can serve as an amazing way to learn your, the strengths and weaknesses of various characters. And also, since in Conquest you have to play with almost every character, you get that chance to explore the whole roster and really find the character that best works for you. Another ingenious of it. It's kind of like story mode nine. Yeah, it's same same thing story mode in the new Mortal Kombat and in Mortal Kombat um, versus DC Universe. Which is story mode is every bit as good as uh, the story mode once again. I mean, I guess I got a soft spot for DC because people make talk the most trash about it and I really enjoy the game. But, uh... I don't know. When it comes to DC Universe, I think people trash talk it a lot just because it has a teen rating. And uh, overall, I enjoyed the game a lot. I keep staring at the camera. I don't know why. Oh, I have to beat him real quick. Uh, all this text is really explaining is just kind of, you know, 
Sujinko trained with Boraicha for a long time, and now he's a little bit more grown up than he was last time. You saw him, and that's why his character models change. I really wish that the alternate costume for Sujinko, when you actually unlocked him, was one of these. Because the alternate costume for Sujinko is just another version of him as an old man. It has always amazed me how quickly you learn. You have excelled far beyond my other students these past five years. It is as if you have been granted a gift by the Elder Gods themselves. <laughs> I'm grateful for your kind words, Master. And I am grateful for all that you have taught me. You have learned much as my pupil, but my training can only take you so far. Experience is the ultimate teacher. To further your training, you must venture into the world. Through your journeys in this realm and others, you will attain enlightenment. Nice. May I suggest, for your first adventure, that you help me find my warrior's medallion. I seem to have lost it. Very well, Master. I will help search for your medallion. May I ask where you saw it last? I seem to recall having it a few nights ago at the docks. Perhaps you can begin your search there. I will stay here and look around the house. Farewell, Shujinko. <laughs> I'm pretty luck. sure it's at the Farewell, docks, but see, some stuff went down when I was there. Mm. I'm going to uh, meditate real quick to bring the sun up. It's getting a little dark. There we go. So I'm terrified of the dark when it comes to filming. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get out of Earth Realm on today's video, but tomorrow I should be able to, so. Am I heading the right way? Why did I why did I go that way? Okay, there's more righteous house. Oh, I'm supposed to follow the i I'm still I'm, I'm not doing what I should be doing is just following the stupid. The giant light in the sky. Yeah, the giant light in the sky. Yeah, it's it's uh, there to help you. I'm a smart one. This must be the dock that Master Baraicho mentioned. I should ask if anyone here knows what happened to the medallion. Apparently he hit puberty. Yep. <laughs> that would have been awkward, hitting puberty at Mr. Baraicho's house. What's up, old man? Excuse me, but have you seen Master Boraicho's warrior's medallion? He says he last remembers having it somewhere around here. Oh, yes. He left it here a few nights ago when we were drinking outworld wine on the dock. I put it in my water house for safekeeping, but some brigands attacked me and stole the tackle box in which I kept my key. Why did he have his warrior medallion when he went out sure. drinking? What cowards. Why would you put and it in a tackle box? I am locked out, and I cannot retrieve the medallion for you. Is there anything I can do to help? If you could get my key back from the brigands, I could get you the medallion. They usually do not stray far from the beach. I will return with your key, fisherman, and these brigands will know the fist of Shujinko. Oh. Thank you, young man. Uh, who is Shujinko? Oh, oh. So, or alternatively, I could just kick your door in. Because I do have a front thrust kick, I would imagine. All right, so. Just like I promised when it was getting around 14 minutes, which is almost there, um, I would pause the game and uh, let you guys know what's happening in the next video. Um, so yeah, we're on, what is this, third day? Um. Yeah, well we're on the third day of doing this, uh, or third day of you guys seeing it, we're doing it all in one sitting. But um, we're on the third day of doing it, um, tomorrow we'll be uploading a video of, um, I'm going to get his warrior's medallion and eventually be led to um, exiting Earth Realm. So hopefully, in the next video, we'll be exiting Earth Realm and starting to explore some of the more unfamiliar realms. Whoa! And uh, anyways, see you guys tomorrow. Stop that video. Boop. Stop this.